because I'm going to do a quick video on Reshape for Foresight FSX 2020. So let's download software we need. Go ahead and open it here. Let's set the game, browse. It's I only have one drive, one of the C drives. It's in the uh, program files, F86. I did have an older version, so it is going to be in the Foresight Experience, not the Promise, but Experience. I'm looking for this icon here. I'm going to install on that. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to use the 10, 11, and 12. I'm going to keep everything checked. Now it's installed. So let's run FSX 2020. And while that's running, I will let you know I did have an issue. I guess when I installed it, I realized I didn't have, um, I didn't give the folder all the permissions it needed. So I was running into some issues earlier when I was trying to do this as a test run. And I'll show you that after I finish with the, with the reshade. So we got reshade and the version that we installed. My key sequence is home. So I'm going to skip the tutorial. And the issue I was running into is when I was trying to select one of the presets. And I'm just going to use this as an example. Um, the fake HDR. It would tell me, make sure you have permissions. You don't have permissions to make modifications. So I'm, um, I would change these different levels down here, um, whatever I'd like, uh, depending on my um, my graphics card, my projector, and my uh, my own preference. Right. So all those are different variables, and they change person to person. I go ahead and reload. That should look a little different. Same sequence to get in, or to get out, as it was to get in. And one quick thing. You can see some other settings here. That's a lot of stuff going on for people. Um, and also stats. That's is pretty cool because you can see your frames per second. Um, might be a lot more numbers than you really even care about, but let's get out. Um, that's pretty much it for actually installing it. So let me show you a couple things here. Uh, one thing I encourage, um, this is my third video on Reshade, and I've encouraged it on the other two, is rename itself, please. Because I guarantee you the game will crash on you one day, and you won't remember the fix. So, if I do that, um, that is the fix if the game was to crash. Um, and it, it would crash. And you would have five minutes to warm up, and you would try to figure out what was going on. And yeah, it would just be a bummer of a night, trust me. So just go ahead and do it now. Um, if you wanted to delete reshade, you want to select um, the shader, the two files that we just renamed. Uh, this one comes with the install, and then once you select one of your presets, it installs this IMI file. Install, delete that, and now reshade is gone. So that's it for that. Let me show you real quick. I was having problems, I said, with permissions, and what I did is I went into properties, security, and then then I add it and group for users, which I'm in for some reason. And I said, hey, um, give me full control of that folder. And that is the FSX folder, or the Foresight Experience folder. And once it did that, I was able to modify the file like I was supposed to. So that's just a quick fix. 
As always, our contact info for SimGolf from the Discord and the website is in the descriptions below. Um,